Hello and welcome to Tuesday evening. You join us for FIFA Ultimate Team updates, whatever we get today. Just gone six o'clock, so hopefully we're going to get a new player, potentially new objectives, maybe new SPCs. We'll have a look through and just generally see what we have today. Obviously, that's uh, the main, uh, the top rated players in the Rule Breakers Team 2, which was released last Friday. So, anything new objective doesn't look like it at all. Okay, no events, I'm guessing. Season progress almost finished, only 20,000, but still only three from the end there. Any milestones? We have MLS, we have a Silver Cup, we have the Eredivisie. So, nothing there either. Okay, okay. So, SPCs is the last room. Yes, we have something. Okay, something is good. It's a one segment Bundesliga left wing back slash left back slash left midfield as well. So, three positions for this guy. He is very left footed as by the two star right foot, three star skill boost. So, not the best on that front. Not very good shooting, but. The, the passing's a bit poor, actually. 76 and 74. Curve and crossing, obviously, is a better cross than it is passer. But the pace is solid. The dribbling is level. The dribbling is decent. What's his height? He's not good jumping or heading. 5'11". OK. No traits at all. Early crosser would have been good with a 92 crossing stat. But that is not happening. But he's solid defensively. This is going to be like an 83 rated squad, I reckon. 83 rated? 84 rated. I'm surprised. I'm surprised. I don't think I'm going to do that unless I get some duplicates of something. It's just not the most enticing card, to be honest. What else have we got going on here? Uh, we've got a daily SPC, Becker and Dodo and Rashford and Kim Binjau. These were like the first two SPCs of this entire FIFA. They're still there. That's bad. So no daily SPC either. I'm surprised by that. It is just David Raum, it looks like. No icons, no new upgrades, no new swaps. Just David Raum. Anything in stores? Any promo packs? No. The gold packs? No, still got four hours on that preview. So it really does look like nothing. Have we got anything in moments? Anything new over here? Surely they've put something. Um. No. Anything in the Star Gallery, in the Exchange Program section? No. <sighs> Fair enough. So what we have is literally just a round. Let's go out to go back in just to double check. Can't be too certain about these things. They have had a habit of adding things slightly later than they should have done previously. So let's have a look. Still got three more days for that lot if you want a ribbery, etc. So, pretty sure. Well, I mean, squad battle, so I don't need that at all. So, is it just Raub and no daily? Raub, normal upgrades, normal stuff. Nope, absolutely nothing. Okay, so it is just Raub. That is bizarre. I'm just. Surprised and not surprised, but still slightly disappointed. I mean, you could just put random daily SPCs in. That's all that people kind of kind of expect. Just a daily SPC each day for whatever pack you want, whether it's easy, whether it's a lot, whether it's a mega pack, etc. Just something they can able come in and do. I don't know why EA don't seem to just twig the... That kind of thing builds engagement, builds um, interest and people's participation. But 
we will leave it there. Actually, let's have a look at Rao Brigade just to just to be doubly sure. I'm pretty sure I would use an anchor on him. Although actually a catalyst would would be a bad option given his low. I still can't believe he's eighty four to be honest. Given the low passing, relatively low passing, the pace would be booted up to pretty much maximum. And it would boost the passing and his vision and his curve, etc. You could go with a hunter, I guess, if you're playing him left wing. But I think Catalyst would probably be the way to go if you're doing it that. Unless you're thinking the pace is already fine. And you could go with something like a backbone, which would do his passing, his defending and his physicals. Those would be the two ones of choice. His dribbling is very well rounded already. Everything between 82 and 86. So, yeah, it's, I mean, it's not that bad a card as I immediately made out, but it's certainly a little bit lacking weak foot, skill moves, etc. High attacking work rate, obviously, means he'd be pushing forward, heads the left wing back rather than just normal primary left back. But, yeah, right. So, if you've got Bundesliga team or you want Germans involved in your squad, if you've got that kind of... Um, theme going on with your club then yes he's one for you uh we'll do a 75 plus player pick we might as well just end off the video just to see now i've completed all of the portuguese league stuff um i'm not going to use him anyway use him um he could go in he could go in we'll just do the one i've had some pretty good pulls from this i've got um uh, the informed Tony Cruz and um, who's the other guy I got? And a Haaland as well. So yeah, an 89 inform and an 88 normal card as well. But also had some stinkers. So let's just see what this one brings in. And I thought that one was special for a minute there. But we got a Shabozlai who is roughly just slightly higher than what we put in for the other things already. Cool, we'll call the video there. Thanks for watching. There's not a whole load of content today. Not a whole lot to talk about. Not a whole lot of exciting stuff going on. Nothing in moments. One player SBC, no daily SBC, and definitely nothing playable that's new today. But other than that, we'll end it there. Thank you for watching. If you made it this far, I appreciate it. And I will see you this time tomorrow when hopefully we've got something slightly newer and better to talk about. And that will end it there. Thanks for watching. Cheers and goodbye.